everybody, guess what time it is? Time for another face off. This time it is a request from many of you. I d it didn't even cross my mind to do a face off between these two products. You guys have been hearing me rave about casual liners. I'm almost positive that's how you pronounce it. I've been using it for over a year because my friend Shalaka, hey what up Shalaka, don't use the stuff you bought me already. Got it for me from India. We don't have these in Canada. This is what it looks like, bam. Casual, this is the real stuff from India. Himalaya herbals. Now, I have used most of it and I just stick like a brush on it and use it for my eyeliner. I haven't used anything else since I started using this. It's phenomenal. So anyway, drugstore companies have noticed apparently how much people are loving casual liner so they decided to make some of their own. The one I have today is the L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner. Richly intense, casual inspired, that's all I could find. And this is what it looks like. So haven't even tried it yet, obviously. It's still in its packaging. One immediate downside to this is that it's something you have to sharpen, which I freaking hate. I hate having to sharpen any makeup. I know it's a first world problem, but it's hella annoying to bring a sharpener with you. Like, come on, why can't everything be an automatic sharpener like this one? But at least this one comes with a sharpener that's gonna fit it. So that's always good. Okay, so immediately noticing the size difference between them. All right, so let's start with the first test, which is just simply drawing on my hand. We're gonna see how they play up against each other. Let's go. That's pretty good. All right, so that's what it looks like. It's, I can immediately tell it's not as creamy as the actual casual liner, but it does have quite good color payoff. Now let's look at this casual one. Oh, I'm almost, out of it. All right, casual one. So that's the bottom casual liner, the real one. And this one is the top drugstore one. Okay, so that's what they look like. I can tell in real life that this one is a little bit blacker than the other one. And then on top of that, I noticed that this dries to a creamy finish while this dries to a matte finish. So that's probably a plus on this side because whenever I put this on my eyes, I always have to put a um, black powder over top of it so that it doesn't transfer because it always transfers by the end of the day. All right, next is the transfer test. So I have a regular Kleenex right here. I'm gonna pat it on top of my hand and see how much of the liner transfers onto the Kleenex. All right, top is real casual liner, bottom is drugstore casual liner. So that's a plus on the drugstore side. And then the final test is the smudge test. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen my Easiest smoky eye in the world tutorial that like I had done every day for a super long time. Um, I still do it sometimes when I'm like feeling lazy and just need a really quick smoky eye. But I had the casual liner on my eyes and I would smudge it to create like a smoky eye. So we're gonna see how well they both smudge on my hand, okay? So bottom one is casual liner, like the real one. So, oh, I, this is honestly, I don't even know which direction I'm doing this right now. Okay, so that's the bottom, and this is the top. I have to push harder to smudge it. Bottom blends out a lot better than the top one, so that could be taken as a good or bad thing, I'm not sure. I just feel like I'm gonna be tugging on my eye more with the drugstore casual liner than with the actual casual liner. And now I have black all over. I should have thought this through. So, final verdict, I give the Real casual liner, a nine and a half out of 10, only because it's so creamy that it sometimes transfers by the end of the day, like to your eyelid and stuff like that, so you have to set it with a powder. That's why it's got a 9.5. The L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Smoldering Casual Inspired Eyeliner, I would give a six and a half, simply because it's not that much different from a regular eyeliner. It's got really intense color payoff, and that's really good. It doesn't transfer, so that's good. But I'm afraid, like, I don't want to ever be tugging on my eye. I always try really hard never to, like, pull on it because that's always really bad and it ruins the elasticity in your face. And so I will be using this after I run out of this, but only as a last resort. So drugstore companies, step it up because this is no match for this. Thank you guys for requesting this video so much. I really appreciate it. If you ever wanna see anything else face off against each other, let me know in the comments and I'll do it. If you wanna follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest, and or Instagram, my name is at Giant. All links will be in the Wonder Bar. You guys know the deal. I love you guys a lot and I'll see you super soon. All right, bye. Let the night come.